Hello, YouTube. We're back now with NACL VOD reviews as we've got a bit of a doozy. It's Dragon Steel versus AoE. AoE in this match, uh, playing around with some lineups. They have Barrick now playing top lane with Wilson slash Trickster from the Winthrop roster and jungle. And then Cozy, the usual top laner, playing AD. I really don't know what happened this match uh, for AoE's roster. I don't know if that's going to be it for the rest of the split. I don't know if Wixie's coming back. Uh, doing this against the top team in the league, end of the way that you'd think it would with Dragon Steel taking the 2-0. So let's see how they did it. If you guys enjoy these, feel free to like, comment, sub. I'm um, CubbyXX everywhere, including Twitch, where you can hop in and join me live for these VOD reviews. So with that said, let's do it. Game 1 draft. Okay. The Zyra first pick. Rumbles up. We do get Ezreal Corky for the Zyra, but we can still play Lucian, and it's somewhat chill. Rumble for the raw strength the top side. We're going to ban out. A little bit to protect. Do deny Leona away from the Zyra as well. I do think there is some value in taking Leona here and dropping, but uh, that's okay. Uh, this ban, I think, was lost or just missed. We'll see. And then, brum, ban to protect Leona. We still get Rel uh, with these Zeri bots, so dropping. Really not that big of a deal. And then it is a Mumu jungle for the lockdown. Uh, easy, a very efficient treads and cleanse game, I think, coming in. And Amumu does, like, you have ways to make guaranteed plays onto Zyra, but you have no way to stop Rel from jumping into your team here, minus Cassante, who will likely not be in the 3v3, only really in the 5v5s. Therefore, I'm not a huge fan of the Amumu this game. I think, if anything, you need a jungler that can kind of shut down um, this jumping in, like jumping in. But I don't really know what that is. I think this draft's pretty doomed. Also, we're taking Cassante into Rumble, which is already a tough ask. Anyway, this series is very one-sided. Uh, shout out to Josh for not making his bed, guys. Unlucky. Shout out to my teammates. Thumbs on with Josh, as always. Or Joshi. Gave my teammates a follow. Hey, Luce, it's good, Marikov. Zumido coming out of base at 40 seconds. Chill. Oh, he... Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Never... I, I'm trolling. Zamudo is actually doing some kind of cool tech here, guys. He bought both of these, stayed in base, and is spamming E to build overheat. Who's doing this on Rumble, by the way? Because with E, you can't really stack overheat. But now he's actually able to, to stack it. Uh, I guess it just helps him do it faster. So he's going to try and overheat maybe, like level 1. I guess he ought to drop a little bit. That's cool. I haven't seen that before. Hold on, didn't see bot trade. Eric Cube, I already went over this AoE roster. I I'm also not a giant fan of it. <laughs> and we have a roll swap player in NACL um, for like a single game in the middle of the split. Might be... It's, it's pretty tough. Kind of in dire straits. All right, Zumino has Ignite. He three-way based, and then UG's here. His clear was on time as Zyra, and eh, Amumu's already losing camps. Leona already had the base. It's not, it's not good. So first crab...
Quack bot first, like the real psycho. I mean, it sent a message. Oh boy. All right. Well played, Spyrox. It's the wave in. Very clean. All right. So first blood, Breezy did have flash. They were trying to get, I mean, they don't need to get this wave in, by the way. Breezy just took a tower shot. And UG is already here. So we have a dead Leona. That wave could have come back to them. So I don't think that point needed to be forced. I think they were trying to get that wave in to maybe contest Grubs. Not the case, though. Eats tower shot, dies. Good try, Barrick. It's at least the right idea. Zamino still gets the wave, though. So he's Sean. Does Barrick pull? Barrick cannot pull this. Barrick just TP'd back, so that Shonk is actually a big win for Zamino, given that he got the wave in. He gets to walk back. And he rushed Merc Treads. Really good against Cassante, right? Was an item taken strictly to be Cassante. Definitely not the team that's you know Merc Treads are very good against. Should you always build for your laner in top lane? No, you don't have to. But usually you build for it early. In this case, though. I will say if Kasante misses out on like the first two alt windows to kill, Rumble just kind of mercs his ass. They did change up Rumble a little bit on this patch, but given the ignite, and like I still think the first seven levels kind of go the same. And we're seeing that here from Zamudo, who is fisting. Post first map? Yeah. It's really hard. Oh my god, Scary Jerry. We are styling on them at this point, Scary. Jesus. We guessed the E. He didn't see that one coming. Zyko takes the kill, says it was all him. Spyrax early, early flashes out, so he drops the wave. So, hey, we get something proactive down mid, but they're down 3k gold. Because Syra. Oh, nice buffer from Breezy. Good flash from Psycho though. Uh, Spyrax was able to wrap back around. And I think given that Psycho has flash up, Yuji as well, this play is never going to work. Alright, it's already a disaster here. Shout out to Psycho Yuji for running the map. Pog, he beat the roll spot top winner's ass. Go, Scary Jerry. It's a little tough. Okay, so Grubby's for Yuji. Uh, and we trying to play for the bot side camps, which aren't up. And then Zyko eats the Q. It sends a Mumu over, and Zeri gets the press R, and they get a Mumu's flash. <laughs> That's a bit tragic, you know? All right, uh, Spyrox, no flash. Good find. Good job, Breezy. They did force support out, and the Grub's take was on. Uh, Yuji needs to help Spyrex get out here. Not the case. He says, so long, brother. And Spyrex eats it. I think if uh, Yuji walked out with Spyrex there, they would have been fine. So it is Dragon for AoE. So, nice. Ooh. Flash for Flash top. Uh, that's a decent angle there from Barrick. Like, if he yoinks Zamudo out into the tower, I think that that actually, like, might have been a kill. It definitely would have been a flash. That said, he is now no flash. And he is getting the treatment. Oop. Yeah, he had W up. Good try, Barrick. 
Eric is doing his damnedest, you know. He can't stay for red. Spyrax still no flash, gets punished by Breezy. Nice. Uh, Zyko did just drop Kill Award in here. He had a ward and didn't choose to drop it. They do have good coverage over bot. Uh, Breezy was still able to sneak in, so catch the Spyrax off guard. I think if I do think Psycho should have dropped a ward there. But they had good river coverage. When's the when, when do they spot Breezy here? Oh, Breezy actually got around this ward. Good job, Breezy. Yeah, he dropped a control ward there. I, I think that Psycho has to drop a ward like in that tri brush or over the wall tri brush. I think that was a little bit disrespectful. So I, I he has a ward up. I actually think Zyko got Spyrex killed there. But uh, yeah, I yeah, I think. Okay. How is Riot refusing to let you buy RP? Seems against their business model. So, Rift taken. They play to top. Zamuno is still on the other side of the map. He cannot join fights. because So, there is a TP advantage for AoE that they can manipulate. So, they're going to go play into Zamuno. Who nearly kills Onat. Not the case, though. HP chunk should enable Dragon Solo to play the next few waves. When that's no TP. Uh, we recorded the jungle this morning. Good question. So it'll be up tomorrow. Uh, it, our schedule is a little bit funky right now with LEC on Monday, uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and then Ginny's in um. Saudi Arabia. Um, okay, so we don't want to play side series AoE, I guess. We're grouped. Barrett could be answering this top wave as the middle funnels down. Not the case, though. Spyx TPs to join, and then we just hit a bangerang combo. Guys, this is all done on a ward. Breezy has sweeper up. It's up. Now. Ouch. Oh, okay. You know what? That's a little... Un I will give this AoE. This is a little unlucky. It times out, and it never even sees that one. That's a that is a little bit unlucky. That's a little bit unlucky. It does lead to a pretty thick engage, though, where Zyko sacks himself. That's a that's a fucking Chad Flash from Scary Jerry, by the way. It's a Omega Chad Flash from Scary Jerry. He should flash this 100%. It's it's Chad. Zumuda has ult up here in a sec, too. So he's on the hunt. Yep. Okay, well, that's... I mean, we did... That, I, I will say, that was a little unlucky for AoE. It was ever so slightly unlucky for AoE. Nice engage from Psycho. Good use of Herald, too. The Lee Sin Bug to see the ward. That's a great question, actually. We should have abused the Lee Sin Bug this game. Might have saved AoE. Maybe Cozy should have played Bot Lee Sin. Only a 9k gold lead for uh, Dragonsteel. Uh, Scary Jerry is no flash. So we try to cook Scary Jerry here. This is very disrespectful. I'm a huge fan of it. I mean, he gets full. Do they? How much info do we have here for Dragon Steel? We have that. We have both brushes around mid. So Spyrax had a flash. 
There is no removal alt quite yet. It's up now. Yeah, I guess 10k at 20 is not enough. Oh, boy. All right. Uh, this was a tough one. Uh, what do you mean, fuck ads? We love ads, Sean. We get paid by ads. He can't hear this right now, but we gotta support we gotta support capitalism on the stream. Okay, so if Dragonsteel actually wanted to kill this Baron, I think that Spyrax needs to be on this. He waits in the brush, because I think they want to turn, but they did burn Zyra ult for this, so for me, they actually should try and kill it. And then again, I don't... If you told me that Dragonsteel weren't taking this game 100% seriously, I would probably agree. And we spikes able to pull out the next wave. So, oh, okay, we're just. He just knew, I guess. I'm gonna chalk that up to a fuck it, we ball take. The rumble alt is so fat here. <laughs> well played by Zamudo to get this off. That's a very fat rumble alt. Cozy eat onto it. And the fight's over. Zyra alt in the choke. Scary Jerry fishes. Hello, Baron. I'm not spending too much time on the series, guys. The series is very one-sided. And I don't know if we're going to see this AoE roster again. I kind of hope not for Cozy's sake. For what it's worth, I think Barrack. I've seen more Barrack, but I actually think Barrack has been okay. Barrack's been put in a pretty shit spot, and I didn't. I didn't think Barrack was like the best top pointer I saw in the combines, but I do think that Barrack's been playing okay. We won't confirm. Did they tweet anything? Why was Vixie gone? Did he have like a personal conflict? I, I can root for Barrack. I know, like, we saw a game of Decoy. because like, Denethor, like, a brother's wedding. Like, that's chill. But like, you always say something, you know? The fact, like, I hear something afterwards, like, I'm just gonna... Like, it's just weird. Anyway, good game one for Dragonsteel. They're up. 20k gold. It's chill. Game... Oh, wait. No, that's right. Game two. Did he not wake up in time? Like, I don't know. Game two, we are, of course, in Fearless Draft, so we have different picks this game. Uh, that said, in Fearless Draft, pretty common that the bands stay the same. But this time, we have a side swap. So a couple picks were left up. We have a not first pick for Breezy. Nid Alistar. Which leads to a Brand and Kaisa. Then we have a Yone. We end up putting the Kaisa mid into Yone. Not a giant fan of that. Let me have Jason to Olaf. I think Olaf is decently valuable this game for Barrick. Still don't know if we I love the Olaf. High key. I think Jax is okay here. 
Like, at least you'd have a way to play into Yone. And Kaisen Yone does indeed sound horrendous. Um, Auction was up. I mean, I would have been down for, like, the Auction and you put the Kaisa bot, but I guess they didn't want to play Kaisen the Ziggs. It's going to be the Poke Kaisa, I believe. Oh, we have runes. Um, I like Conqueror, Bran. I don't like the Electrocute. Interesting. Usually I see Blue Tree for Zamudo. I guess this helps keep you topped off against Olaf, who does have some sustain on you. Interesting. I like Blue Tree a lot on Jin, so I don't love this setup. Anyone wants to play Jin though? I actually think Jin's playable right now. I think Jin pairs really well with the mage junglers. And no one's really talking about it. Like, if we have. Um. Like, Zyra in the meta, if we have Brand in the meta, I think Jin pairs really well. Also, like, I mean, Cozy's autofilled, so, like, I like playing Jin when I'm autofilled. I agree, MF's better. I, I think Jin's playable in MF, though, by the way. I, I, I think it's very doable. You scale really nicely on Jin. Oh, no, I had my first stutter. Okay. So we had mirrored clears this game. Just clear as fast as fuck. This guy is too good. Yep. Oh, uh, I like this look, by the way. I like this look a lot. If Scary Jerry has mana for W, I think it's quite good. I did like how Zyko played his way out of it. But given where the wave is, I, I think that Dragonsteel has the right idea with the ward here. But I actually really appreciate how AoE saw the ward. They have a ward of their own that's earlier. And they had Wilson walk around and beat it. That's a, This is a good play from AoE. Wilson slash Trickster. Jin and the Ziggs. Jace Nid, though. Honestly, with Nautilus, it's fine. I, I'm be honest. With Nautilus, it's actually fine. I would rather have Kaisa bot. Do not get me wrong. I think that you you do not put Kaisa in the Zion. I think that's terrible. You're asking to get fucked up on the side then. This man probably thinks Nathan Peterman can still be a good QB. That's a respectable meme. That's a very respectful meme. That guy was a great QB for the other team. So put some respect on Nathan Peterman's name. Chicago Bear. By the way, Matt Nagy loved Nathan Peterman in training camp. And that article was shared a lot in my group chat. No, I think you mean Buffalo Bills legend Nathan Peterman. <laughs> okay. High key, Maricouve? High key, I I'm not even shitting you when I say this. I played golf this past week with someone that managed Jay Cutler in Denver. 
He was Jay Cutler's manager. Just randomly in our group. And I was like, that's the best QB I've seen in the Bears in my lifetime. <laughs> His bag was signed by Jay Cutler. I was like, man, that guy's actually the best. The best Bears QB I've seen in my lifetime is Jay Cutler. Please, Caleb Williams, save me from this misery. He is the best Bears QB I've ever seen in my lifetime. Undoubtedly. All right, back to the game. How the fuck did this happen? Uh, when do we see Bran? We do not see Bran. Where it's just mirrored clear is... Oh, Yuji takes these three camps, and Zimito's like, something's up. This is... Okay, so we just trade top and bot, and bot's already chunked from Ziggs. And then Yone just gets... Yeah, he gets the wave in because it's Kaisa. And then we go. It's a little too easy, guys. I want me to be honest. It's kind of too easy. Well, uh, that's clean from Dragonsteel. I, I, think, I think Wilson kind of trolls the game there, though. Like, for me, he has to not go for the top play on that timer. He has to be base taking his camps and protecting his bot lane for getting Dove because their conditions are way worse. Yeah, I, again, if Wilson... Like, Wilson has four camps up here spawn. Yeah, I, I think Wilson has to either flip it, reverse his clear and clear down, or base and then start clearing up again. So. We'll play. Oh, it's AD Kaisa. Okay. Oh, I missed that word. Nice toggle from Observer. All right, so Grubs. I mean, Dragon Sword's stronger on top side here, and they want to play for that. The Ziggs is just up 20, somewhat off the dive. It's going to be Collector for Jin. I I really prefer, I think Collector is okay, like, doable this game. I, I really prefer IE into LDR on Jin. I, I actually think that's like the right setup. I like, just play for your 2 3 item. I, I actually think Jin becomes a huge problem champion then. And your IA damage, like getting the auto crits, it's more expensive. I don't get, I don't think you get a ton from going collector. And like your second item from then on is better. That's just me though. Like the collector IE spike's kind of nice, but like after you get LDR, everything afterwards, if you rush IE, is better. Yo, Yuji, be a doll here and hit this uh this plant for Zyko. This coin from Dragsteel. I, I I like how they moved here. Ziggs is holding. I think Scary Jerry is doing like playing well. I, I think this is really good Ziggs play from Scary Jerry actually. I, I I really like the sequence of Scary Jerry, guys. This is really nice, actually. 
We don't need to hit B. But, like, the E there is good. The R is good. The step up onto Cozy is really good. He hits a nice Q. It's really good. Oh, boy. I've been, I, I really like Tomo's Zig so far this season. I know that's against uh, not the best team in the league, but I think Scary Jerry put that one quite nicely. Love to see Scary Jerry add, add the mean Ziggs to the arsenal. Nice. Oh, boy. It's a little free. Uh, okay. He paid respect for that flash. Oh, boy. <laughs> it's a tough game, guys. It's not a very competitive game. All right. I don't know what to say, guys. Like, that's so utterly disrespectful. That's so utter- Thank God Spyrax died, man. Thank fucking God he died. <laughs> that's the most disrespectful thing I've seen on Split. <laughs> This E is the most disrespectful thing I've seen, like, all split, man. Holy shit. Thank God he died. No one should live through that. See Aurelia with so much Zyra now? No, I think, I think Aurelia is gated by other things. I do think Aurelia has access to Tenacity, though, in this meta, so I am surprised we've seen zero games of Aurelia. I, I, I high-key, I think that Aurelia into Corky is playable. But into, like, Lucian, um, Trist, I don't think it is. But I, I think uniquely into Corky, I actually think it's doable. You can get around Corky's E and dodge out on the Q. And also his Velk dash is like just kind of short. You have like ways to stay on him. All right. So UG hits the... Uh, misses the Q spine. I, I don't know how that one died. Honestly. Zamudo is like, I'm not even going to fucking join, guys. This is just all you. I think Zamudo, there's a world where you can TP like down. I'm going to play off bot wave, but he is faster on top wave. So if he's able to greed this and they get away with it all, it's fine. And guess what? They do. Oh boy. Nice buffer. I hit the goddamn Baron, man. Yeah. Now we hit the Baron. Good Baron! They didn't need to hit the Baron right away. They could just fuck around, guys. It was chill. Oh my god. How is... How did Jin end up here, by the way? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. 
Oh no. Then he spawns and <laughs> oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh, it's okay. Well, this at least I got to laugh a little bit, you know. Oh boy. Cozy dying in that position and then spawning and eating two skill shots and dying again is Whew. All right. Uh GG's guys. That's it for this fight. Are you a dragon steel versus AoE? I hope the next AoE game is a little bit more competitive. They have a two percent chance to make playoffs. I think it's like one and a half percent actually. Well, we're probably seeing the promotion relegation tournament, so it's been a toughie for them to split. Uh but dragon still continue to be dominant. Thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, if you guys enjoy the content, feel free to like, comment, and sub. Uh, and I'm Cubby XX everywhere. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.